take some acrylic and heat form it over this. Hopefully that will work out okay with just a heat gun. I tried three heat guns at once even. I was doing something like this with all of these on and I still could not consistently melt acrylic enough to be formable. So I finally broke down and I used the toaster oven. I threw together a quick baking sheet from some duct steel using my metal brake and I was able to get the plastic actually too hot. You can see here it actually got a little bit bubbly. A whole bunch of these plastics to try out. I have two sheets of polycarbonate, which I'm not too hopeful about, a couple sheets of opaque acrylic, and a sheet of clear acrylic. I'm pretty sure this was HDPE, uh, and the result was only so-so with this, so I'm hoping that one of these other types of plastic will work a little better. I have to say this is a bit odd. Uh, this actually started to bow this way from the heat. At 250 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, for, I don't know, five minutes or so. I did get a little bit of bubbling on one side. That's just because of uneven heating, most likely. And I was able to get a really fantastic bowl shape. I put the sheet over this, I was wearing welding gloves, and then I put this bowl on top and I pressed my entire body weight down. And I held it there for a few minutes and I was able to get this nice shape out of it. Now the only problem is the thickness of this polycarbonate is <laughs> going to be an issue with machining it. I'm impressed that I was able to get such a nice form, but by the time I clean up these edges where it's sort of crimped, especially right here, you can see there's some points right there. So, you know, I have to avoid those, and by the time I avoid those, I'm not going to have a whole lot of bowl left. So this is a pretty cool result in general, but I don't know that I can use it for my centrifuge. You know, it's funny, the more I look at this thing, the more I think I could do some really nice dome work with this polycarbonate, because uh, this stuff is a great window, it, especially because it already has this uh, tint to it. I think it would block a fair amount of the sun, but still let some through. And I don't know what I have in mind for it yet, but I mean, look at how beautiful that turned out. It's really inspiring. It's just so hard to fabricate things like this, and plastics are one of the few materials that work well for it, especially when it comes to transparency. That's gonna be a big problem right there. This is totally unusable. Well, I keep having the same issues, which are these folds here, you know, and I think it's Probably, at least in part, because of these bowl shapes. This bowl is not made to fit over this bowl, but this other bowl. They're just, you know, a couple random bowls. It's kind of a problem. Well, offhand, this looks like my best result by going between these two. I uh, decided to flip it around because the other one wasn't hugging it tightly enough, and I thought I might be able to fix the shape while it was still warm, and I think that worked okay.
Well, you remember that disclaimer video on my channel? <laughs> There's a good reason for it. Yeah, I uh, suspected that might happen, which is why I was using this instead of my hands, but I was still holding it with one hand, and uh, that still flew off with quite a lot of speed. Uh, I think the solution to this is probably speed control, and I do actually have a speed controller somewhere, so uh, I'm going to try to get that in place next time, and maybe not even use my hand, you know, or maybe put on a heavy glove when I'm holding it, because I'm holding it from the opposite edge as I'm doing that. But yeah, it's a really good way to do something dangerous. Um, hopefully I didn't ruin my result too much. Uh, it really is a shame because it's pretty perfect besides that little gouge from when it caught the blade funny. I sacrificed the ceiling fan to the gods of center finding. And uh, I'm hoping to basically be able to spin this and be able to find the center. The point of the least movement will be the center. Theory may be a little flawed, we'll see. Make sure this is exactly aligned, right? I think having some kind of jig for holding this would probably be the best, but I'm too lazy right now, so I'll just use my hand. Yep, I think that'll work. So I believe that blob there is roughly the center. I wanted to mention, uh, the way I made these holes, I used a plunging omnidirectional speed bit to rough it out. Then I used a sanding bit to smooth out the edges. And these holes are not anywhere near perfect, but I think it'll work. I mean, I know it's a crappy micro chip. There we go. Now we're getting some real fiery stuff. Clearly there's a ton of heat in there. I mean, the graphite is reacting strongly. <laughs> okay, that's what you call plasma arcing.